All right, hey, what's up? Brent here. I'm the jazz musician behind LearnJazzStandards.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a guide for what scales you can play over different kinds of seventh chords. These are just the basic ones. There's obviously a lot of scales that you can play over different seventh chords, but these are good ones to get started. So consider this your resource video for which scales to play over different kinds of seventh chords, whether it be a major seventh chords, whether it be dominant seventh or dominant seventh sharp 11, here's a bunch of different options that you can use. Now. I've done other things like this before, like I've done an episode on my podcast, the LGS podcast before, I've done blog posts. So I hesitate to do these because in the wrong hands, scales can be bad news. Because if we think of scales as musical in and of themselves, well, we're wrong. They're not musical. The scales are not musical. We have to make them musical. And I think scales are more of a way to conceptualize jazz language and different stuff we can use over top of these chords. So consider scales as pitch collections or ways to map out the tones within a chord or a chord progression. If you think about it that way, it's a little bit better of a way to, and a healthier way, I think, to think of scales. All right, so I'm gonna show you all these scales. I'm gonna run through them really quickly. You can come back to this episode as much as you want, this, this video as much as you want, just to reference these. So here, check them out. All right, so I'm here behind my computer with my guitar and I'm checking out this lesson right now on our blog. It's called A Guide for Which Scales to Use Over Seventh Chords. And if you just wanna find this easily for later, you can just type in learnjazzstandards.com forward slash scales into your browser and you'll find it there right away if you wanna use this uh, as more of a reading resource at your own pace here. But I'm gonna be going over these, like I said, really quickly. We're gonna start with unaltered seventh chords, okay? What does that mean? I mean, talking talk about the basic seventh chords, like major, dominant, minor seventh, half diminished, and fully diminished seventh. Those are the basic uh, major seven, uh, the basic seventh chords rather. So I'm gonna start with the first one, which is the major seventh, okay? Sounds like this. But you can also play the extensions, like major ninth or the major 13th even. And there's one scale that represents that really simply, and I think we all know what that is. And if you don't, here it is, it's the major scale. Okay, now keep in mind right now, I'm basing all of these scales and stuff off of the modes in the key of, uh, of concert C, in the key of concert C. So if you're a B flat instrument, you're gonna wanna transpose a whole step up, or if you're an E flat instrument, you're gonna wanna transpose a minor third down. But either way, this will tell you what scale to play. You just won't be playing in the exact same key if you're reading the music just as is here, okay? So just keep that in mind, depending on what instrument you play. So this is the major scale over any major seventh or variation of that chord. Okay, let's move on quickly to the next one, wasting no time. The next is the minor seventh chord. This is a C minor seventh chord. And so for a minor seventh chord, the most basic thing we can do, or the minor ninth chord, or the minor 11th chord, or the minor 13th chord even. You know, any of those variations of that chord. The natural minor scale is the most basic one that you can do, okay? Right? But also in jazz, we often play what's called the Dorian mode or the Dorian minor scale. Now that just simply means that if we have a parent scale of C major in our case, and we have a D minor seventh chord, we would play the D Dorian mode over top of that, which basically means we're starting the C major scale on the second tone. So every time you hear Dorian, it means you're starting on the second tone of a parent major scale. So it sounds like this. So this, is, this would be a D minor seventh chord, and this is D Dorian. Okay. And that's essentially a C major scale starting on the second tone, okay? So that is the Dorian mode. Let's move on to the next chord. And the next chord is a minor six chord. Now a minor six chord, uh, it sounds like this. So this is C minor six. We can play that Dorian mode that we just went over. So that'd be a C Dorian, right? now. What's the parent scale of C Dorian? That'd be B flat major. So C Dorian is essentially a B flat major scale starting on the second tone, which is C. Or we can play what's called the melodic minor scale. Okay, we all, some people call it the jazz minor scale. Sounds like this. So that's the melodic minor scale. Moving on, let's go to dominant seventh chords, okay? I'm playing 
playing a G7 here, because we're basing everything off the parent key of C in the modes here. So this is a G, basic G7 chord. Or you could do a G9, or a G13, or even a sus chord. Any variation of and the best scale the most basic scale you can use over top of that is the mixolydian scale now this is another mode this time it's based off of the fifth tone of the parent major scale so if we have g7 that is the fifth tone g is the fifth tone of c so we're essentially playing a c major scale but starting on the fifth tone which is g so it sounds like this So the mixolydian scale over any of those dominant seventh chords and the ex extensions. Okay, so now let's move on to the next chord, which is the half diminished or the minor seven flat five chord. Now we're going to be doing a B minor seven flat five. Okay, and that's because the first mode that we're going to use is what's called the Locrian scale, the Locrian mode, which is essentially the seventh mode of the major scale. So in other words, if we're basing this all off the key of concert C, the seventh tone is B, B natural. So we're going to be basically starting the C major scale on a B natural. So the last tone of the scale, which is the Locrian mode. So it sounds like this. Okay, that is the Locrian mode. But sometimes you can also play what's called the Locrian sharp two. Okay, and essentially it is exactly what it says it is. It's the Locrian scale, but you're gonna sharp the two. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. So just that two is sharp. So here's the one, and instead of the two here, it's the sharp two. Okay, you can hear all those sounds come out, right? All right, so the next chord is the diminished seventh chord, okay? The diminished seventh chord, and it sounds like this is a C diminished seventh chord. You can take that up in minor thirds, by the way. It's just a, it's a very uh, symmetrical chord. So just all the notes repeat, repeat themselves really easily. Okay, and so the classic classic scale you play with the top of that is the whole half diminished scale which is essentially a series of whole steps and half steps and that's why they call it the whole half diminished scale so it sounds like this okay pretty cool right that's all of the basic seventh chords now let's move really quickly to altered seventh chords okay altered seventh chords now if we have a major or a minor major seventh chord it sounds like this basically it's a minor chord with a major seventh in it then you can play the melodic minor scale right we've already talked about that one so for c okay so you can play the melodic minor scale over any minor major seventh chord all right, so the next chord is the major seven sharp 11 or the major seven flat five, depending on whether you want to alter the chord tone or alter the extension. So it's right here and it sounds like this. So this is an F major seven sharp 11 or like that. Lots of different voicings that you can use for this. Okay, and the scale that you can play over top of this is the Lydian scale. Now, again, Lydian, if we're basing this on the parent C major scale, what is F Lydian to C? What is F to C, rather? It is the fourth tone. So Lydian means it's, it's you're playing the fourth tone, starting on the fourth tone of the major scale, in this case, the C major scale, okay? So C major scale starting on the fourth tone, Lydian, sounds like this. Right? Pretty simple, okay? So that's the Lydian scale. Okay, so the next chord is the major seven sharp five, okay? Now this isn't as common of one. It sounds like this, or this, okay? And it's pretty simple. If you have a sharp five, you're gonna do the Lydian augmented scale. Now that's like the Lydian scale, the one we just went over, but you're gonna sharp the fifth tone. So it sounds like this. Here's F Lydian augmented. Now here's the sharp five. Okay, 
Okay, so Lydian augmented. Now we're gonna move on to the dominant seven sharp 11th chord, okay? That's uh, a C7 C7 sharp 11. Or Thelonious Monk uses this one a lot, right? Monk. Thelonious Monk right here, that's it. Anyways, so what you do, what do you play over the top of that? You play the Lydian dominant scale. So Lydian dominant is essentially a Lydian scale with a dominant seventh in it, so a flat seven. So it sounds like this. So the Lydian dominant scale over top of the dominant seven sharp 11. Okay, now coming close to the end here, let's go over the dominant seven sharp nine or the flat nine and the sharp 11 or the flat 13. We can also call this the altered seventh chord. So a lot of times if a composer wants you to alter multiple uh, chord tones within a dominant seventh chord or you want it, they want you to pick and choose which one, they'll write dominant, they'll write seven alt and that will represent that chord. So what you could play over top of this is the altered scale, which kind of outlines all of those different altered tones that are in there. So this is what it sounds like. This is the C altered, so C sharp nine, C flat nine, sharp five, different chords like that. Here it is. Now the other scale that you can use is the half hold diminished scale. Before I went over the whole half diminished scale, and this one is basically half steps and then whole steps, and that's the scale formula. So it sounds like this. Okay, that's the half hold diminished scale. That's also an option. Right, you hear all those sounds come out. Okay, now the last one I want to talk about is the dominant seven flat 13, which again, you can play the altered skill over top of. Uh, in this case, we're playing a C. So it sounds like this. That's a flat 13 right there. You can play the whole tone scale. A lot of people think of this as the dream scale, right? In cartoons or whatever. Sounds like this. Right, whole tone scale. All right, so that's the other option you have is the whole tone scale. All right, so these are all the basic scales that I wanna go over. Of course, there are a lot more, but these are the basic ones that are good to check out. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got a little bit of value from that today. Now, here's what I want you to do. If you have any alternative scales that you like to use over chords or conceptualize chords with, leave them in the comments below. Let's share with the whole community so we can all learn from each other. And also, this lesson particularly comes out of our ebook, Zero to Improv, which is an ebook that walks you from the ground up how to become a great jazz improviser. It goes over a lot of jazz theory concepts like this. So if you're interested in taking this stuff a little further, learning more about this stuff, go to zerotoimprov.com. Thousands of people have downloaded this ebook and are getting lots of value out of it. Now, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, make sure you like our Facebook page, and of course, always feel free to join our jazz community at learnjazzstandards.com forward slash join, and we'd love to have you in there. All right, I'm Brent, I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.